I got them all staked out. So let me give you more hand, will you? Son, so you more can start cooking. There ain't much to cook, Billy. Dandelion weed, fat pack, and some sunflower seeds. Are you gonna look for a job today? We ain't even moved in yet. You already started on me. I'll get a job when I'm good and ready. I don't mean to pick at you, Billy, but we ain't got nothing left. Nothing. Tommy. You want to go out and get the rest of them things out of the wagon? Yes, sir, Pa. If you don't stop bad-mouthing me in front of that boy, I'm going to slap your teeth loose. It's him I'm thinking about, Billy. We've got to get some decent food into him. All right. All right. I'll, uh, I'll ride down to the railroad and see what they got. But I ain't working with them Chinamen. Carrying them rails and them ties around. I ain't doing that. Once you go out there and get the rest of them things out of the wagon. We gotta fix this place up. Yes, Billy. Sorry, Pa. idea of taking the day off? You said a lot of work I wanted to get done today. You know, so I could take it easy tomorrow. What's so special about tomorrow? Nothing. I just want to take it easy, that's all. Well, you can take it easy on Sunday. Something out here I want you to take a look at. Yes, sir. Hello, Seth. Ben. Seth, how you doing? How are you? I got your goods right in here. All right. Everything all right? Just like it come from the factory, Ben. We don't deliver no damaged goods. If we're going to pick up something big, we should have brought the wagon. I think we'll take that. Now it's a day early, Joe. Happy birthday. Nice looking for work. Nope, nothing here. 
They're always looking for men up the end of track. Well, I can't do no jobs, uh, heavy lifting, carrying. I was thinking about being a conductor, like yourself, if uh, or something like that. I'm afraid you're out of luck. All them jobs are taken. Ain't that just like people? Grabbing all the soft and easy job. You might ask Mr. Cartwright for a job. He's got one of the biggest ranches around here. <laughs> Good you see him run, Pot? Did you see that horse run? I sure did. Look at him. He's not even breathing hard. He can race that train again right now. Not right now. Don't mind. All right, I'll race you home. <laughs> OK. Check, see how the work was done. He's everything Ben said he was. And more, I think. You know about him? Sure. Gotta give you a lot of credit. You can keep a secret. What's a secret? Everybody in the whole place knew about it. Everybody but you. You know about it? Oh, yeah. Listen, you want me to you want me to walk him off till he cools down a bit, or maybe you know, give him a little... It's perfectly all right. I'll calm down myself. Thank you. You know, 8 to 5 says Joe sleeps in the barn tonight just to keep an eye on the horse. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I sure would. So would I. Come on. Huh. You want 
Don't you start on me, boy. How come? How come some people in this world got so much? And some people ain't got nothing. Maybe some people work harder, Billy. Well, I work like they do. And I sweat like they do. And I get just as tired as they do. How come they got so much more than me? I don't know. Maybe some people just stick to it longer than you do. Yeah. Maybe I can't get it because... because they already got it all, huh? Well, it seems to me that... No, let me tell you how it seems to me. To get something, I'm gonna have to take it. I'm gonna have to take it. Billy, everybody we talked to along the way said there was work up here. Mine and lumber, cattle, railroad... Well, don't you worry about nothing, woman. Don't you worry about that. But I got... I got something in mind. I do. I got something in mind. Well, the sooner you get it off your mind and onto the table, the better off we're all gonna be. What'd you say? I said, if you don't get work by tomorrow, we're gonna have to sell your horse. My horse? We, we ain't gonna sell my horse. We'll sell that wedding ring before we sell that horse. All right, Billy. Tell you, Ma, I might be late for supper. Horrible. I gotta go see about something. <laughs> I'm trying to knock my hat off, man. Have some fun. Spot, you keep that up. <laughs> hey, Pa, I didn't see. How you doing? Yeah, fine, fine. Uh, want the boys to uh, brand them tomorrow while they're... Uh... No, no, I don't want a hot iron put on this horse. Then we'll notch his ears, then. No. Well, we've got to put our mark on him. Well, just let us figure it out. We'll decide something. Huh? Howdy. Howdy. Mr. Conray? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, my name's uh, Billy Brenner. Just moved in across the mountain over there, and I was looking uh, looking for some work. Oh, here you are. Mr. Brenner, we uh, got all the ranch hands we need right now. Ah. Uh, maybe the uh, the railroad uh, would No, have... no, I tell you, I was down there, and they... Uh, all them good jobs were taken down there. Well, they always need some help in the mines. Oh, no, sir. No, I ain't going to work down no hole. <laughs> What's the job? Well, yeah, it seems to me a place this big here, Mr. Cartwright, you'd... You need some hands. Well, not right now, I'm afraid. I'm if sorry. you think I can't do the work, uh, Mr. Cartwright, I, I was foreman of a place. It's this big here, uh, down in Texas. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Must have been a good job. Well, it was. Maybe you ought to have kept it. Well, a fella likes to 
Thanks, Terry. Better himself, you know. No, that's true, of course. I'm, I'm afraid we have a foreman and we are full up. I'm sorry. Well, can't you just kind of maybe... I'm sorry, Mr. Good luck, huh? Look, you're welcome to stay and have a bite with us if you want. I don't want no handout from you. I wonder what you'd be doing about now if your old man didn't have all that money. I'd probably the same thing I'm doing now. Good day's work, that's all. The hardest day's work you ever did, sonny boy, was counting your blessings. Rich boy. I want you to do yourself a favor and ride out. Yeah, all right. You ain't heard the last of this. Like I said, get on your horse and ride out. Billy Brenner. There ain't a man who soon forgets. Cartwright. You want to sleep here? <laughs> Out in the bunkhouse, the betting two to one, you're going to sleep in the barn tonight. All right. I just came by to see if you might like to have a blanket. A blanket won't be necessary. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, by that some horse. Yeah. Glad you like him. Yeah, I remember my father gave me a watch for a birthday. I just kept looking at that watch all day. Last thing I looked at at night, first thing I looked at in the morning, of course, I didn't keep the watch in a barn. <laughs> okay, I got the hint. <laughs> we'll sleep in the house, how's that? <laughs> Last thing at night, first thing in the morning. to receive, may we be truly thankful. Maybe he got a job. Maybe he did. That's why he's so late. He probably had to stay so they could, uh, show him what to do. It could be. Well, you know, it's not easy. Going from place to place, getting new jobs all the time. No, it's not. Ma, I've been thinking. Maybe it's about time I got a job. I'm big for my age and strong, too. Pa said so. I've been thinking. It's time I started pulling my fair share of the load. With Pa's back like it is and us to take care of. It ain't easy for him, you know? I know. Then it's settled. What's the matter? I've been thinking. If I had my choice of any boy in the world for a son, I'd choose you. Don't worry, Ma. He'll be along pretty soon.
Hey, can't he seen Joe? Not since this morning. What time was that? Uh, Rudd, I just had the sun up. Seemed to be in a hurry to get wherever he was going. <laughs> oh, he's giving that stallion a real workout then. No, he was on the pit Oh, well, then I think I'll give that stallion a workout. You can't have him standing around in the barn just eating his fool head off. Yeah, a stallion ain't in the barn. Where is he? I don't know. Not in the barn? No. He's not with the rest of the horses. Whose horse is that? Well, I found him out behind the barn. He was eating on some brush. Hey, Kenny, you say, uh, you say Joe left in an awful hurry? Yeah, like the barn was on fire. He didn't even see me. Hmm. Hey, um, why don't you and Griff mount up and see if you can pick up his trail, huh? on the stove. You know how far it is to town? I'd say about 18, 19 miles that way. Is it that far? Yeah. Unless you want to cut over the ridge, and it's only about seven or eight. I probably couldn't make it here and back before supper, right? No, son, I'm afraid you'll be a little late. Hey, mister. You know where I could find a job? Uh, what kind of work? Just anything that could make me some money. You see, it's for my pa. He's been set back a little. I'll tell you, son, even if you get a job back in Virginia City, you got an awful long walk to work in the morning. Yeah, 19 miles. That is a problem. But I'll work it out. I'm sure you will. Hey, mister, which way are you going? I'm heading that way. Me too. Come on. Gawking that woman. You got something on your mind, you speak up. Just speak up. Where'd you get the horse, Billy? I traded for it, Alice. Straight across. My horse for that one. With or without the saddle.
Billy, please. I traded for that horse. Please. You understand? Please, Billy. You understand, don't you? Yes, yes, I understand. All right. I think our luck's changed, Dallas. We're going to sell that horse. And we'll go to California, Alice. Maybe. You like that? You and Tommy and me? When we're out there, I'm going to buy some land, maybe. Get a new start. I'd be my own boss, Alice. Just you and me and Tommy. Nobody would ever tell me what to do ever again. Don't move, Brennan. Keep both hands on the saddle. Run for it, go! Tommy! Get him in the house, Alice! Kill him. Yeah, I'll get a doctor and bring him out here. I'll get the doctor. Go in the house, pour some water, keep the wound clean. Well, it's 20 long miles back to that town. Gotta pick over the ridge. I've seen seven or eight. There ain't a horse alive can climb that ridge. Just let me worry about the ride. You take care of your son. Go on, move. did it, Billy. You shot your own son over a horse you stole. It, no. He ran out in front of me. And you shot him. What? It was Cartwright's fault. It's always somebody else's fault, ain't it, Billy? It's their fault you can't get a job. It's their fault you can't keep the job you get. It's their fault we ain't got a decent home or food or clothes. It's their fault you stole a horse and shot your son. You're as pure as blue sky and as clean as spring water. A man with no fault. And no honor, no decency, and no love. All you had in this world was a, a boy who showed some promise of becoming a man. And you damn near killed him.
I think we lost it. Yeah, maybe. It's probably back there in Virginia City having a beer right now. Well, which way? This way. Come on. We'll try the other side of the mountain.
you ride to town and get a doctor. Take him to the old shack in the Salt Creek. Boy been shot there. Yeah, Joe. Should have seen him. Just ran his heart. <sighs> Said he couldn't go over that ridge. But I want to tell you, he went. Just ran his heart up. Yeah. I think you'll be all right. It's up to you now. Keep him in bed, keep him covered. And every time he wakes up, put some good food in him. When I say good food, Mr. Brenner, I don't mean fat back and greens. I mean something to keep his strength up. I just don't know how to thank you. It's all right. No, I can accept a favor, but I can't take charity. Come on, it's not for you, it's for the boy. He's gonna need food and some medicine. He doesn't have to know where the money came from. For Tommy. Mr. Cartwright, what are you gonna do about Billy? What does he think of the boy? They're close, very close. Just let him stay close to that. Doc, thank you. I'm just glad I didn't get here too late, Joe. And I darn near didn't make it. Thanks again. Mr. Cartwright. I wanted to tell you that I... that I'm sorry. I... Sure, I'm sorry. No, sorry doesn't mean anything to me, Brenner. Sorry's just a word. It doesn't mean a thing. You want to say you're sorry, you tell your wife, you tell your son. Maybe they'll forgive you. I don't. Brenner. Forget him. 